Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have shocking developments about the Mod Cedar duo. Perhaps Harry is coming back to the UK soon, alone? Well, not that my UK Rogues are that keen on this idea, but all of a sudden you have all these crazy headlines all at the same time that you can't help but connect the dots and realize that all is not well with the Harkles. So let's get down to it, starting with Angela Levin for GV News. He's not in the family house anymore. Meghan Markle is absolutely separating from Prince Harry, who is in, in a hopeless situation. Meghan Markle is absolutely separating from Prince Harry and is making sure that he's in a hopeless situation so that she can get the children, claims a royal expert. And you know that uh, royal commentators have to be careful with what they say, what they claim, especially talking about the lawsuit happy couple. So it grabbed my attention that Angela was so direct with this one. Angela Levin claims isolated Prince Harry is being abandoned by his planner and plotter wife, Meghan Markle, who is absolutely separating from him. The author of Harry, a biography, told GB News host Dan Wooden, the Duke of Sussex, is not even in the family house anymore. Either she's shouting at him to get out, or he can't take it and it's there, Miss Levin told the veteran British broadcaster. In my opinion, there is a real, real possibility of this being real because they have already released all the content that they thought was going to be their best shot, but I don't think they got the results they were expecting. I mean, they can tease further revelations all you want, but the stress of not knowing what to do next must be real. I think if you have a row in your marriage, you perhaps might go into another room. If you book a room permanently, that means you are going to use it a lot, so he's not in the family house anymore. Mr. Wooden noted that the Duchess of Delusion has been showing a notable lack of public support for her ginger winger husband recently, snubbing him a kiss at the basketball, failing to attend the coronation and being absent from his book tour, not all appears well, Mr. Wooden said. Dan Wooden has a point. We used to see Harry and Meghan together for literally everything in 2021 and 2022, and all of a sudden that has changed. It would have made much more sense that since the kids were younger in, this, in those years, then we would see either Harry or Meghan in public. I mean, one of them staying home uh, with the kids. But no, it's 2023 and the times we have seen them together go from uncomfortable to, let's say, catastrophic, pun intended. Socialite claims Prince Harry has contacted divorce lawyers amid Meghan Markle marriage problems. Lady Campbell, who is known as Lady C, claimed to GB News there have been problems in the marriage, supposedly for some time. I mean, I have heard from five totally reliable sources that Harry called in the lawyers some months ago. Now, that is something. For what other reason would Harry be communicating with divorce lawyers? I know that this can sound a bit of a stretch, but we are no strangers to Lady C being on the spot, so what would be the next step? That's why I told you at the start of this video that we are seeing not one or two headlines, but open claims about solid clues that whatever the Mexican morons thought they were doing is about to go down in history as one of the most scandalous divorces ever. Uh, that is, of course, unless they manage to sort things out, but I won't hold my breath about that. Uh, the problem is that the information doesn't necessarily match up with their public face, but of course, their public face is to an extent slapped on for monetary gain. And also, if there are real problems in the marriage, which there do appear to be, Harry's going to have a heck of a time extricating himself, because he has been very overt about all his failings and all his drug taking. And maybe Paul Burrell is not the most trustworthy source for opinions about Harry and Meghan, but I always say that you have to read or listen to the opinions and even gossip and try to figure out if the content makes sense. Because honestly, sometimes it does. Brainwash Prince Harry has finally woken to the truth about Meghan Markle. A well-placed royal source has predicted Prince Harry will soon return to the UK a single man claiming he has been brainwashed. Prince Harry has finally woken up to the truth 
about his wife, Meghan Markle, according to the late Princess Diana's former butler. Paul Burrell, who worked for Diana for over 10 years until her sudden death in 1997, has sensationally claimed that the Duke of Sussex is only staying in the marriage so that he can see his two children, Archie and Lilibet, grow up. Am I the only person in the UK that is thinking, has Harry finally woken up to the truth? Well, I for one think that Harry would not recognize the truth even if it came and hit him on the face. Has he finally seen the truth of what his wife is doing and that he's been brainwashed and mesmerized by her beauty or something? What? <laughs> Because we all know that, <laughs> but he doesn't seem to see it, Burrell said on GB News Friday. Burrell then echoed King Charles' former butler, Grant Harrell's recent prediction, saying he believes that the exiled royal will soon return to home soil for good. What's more, he claims that the British people will welcome this pair author with open arms. Well, I have serious doubts about that. I have no doubt that when this happens, because we all know that it will happen, when it does happen, then he will return to the United Kingdom, and I think his father, the king, and his brother, the Prince of Wales, will both greet him back into the country with open arms, the ex-royal staffer claimed. <laughs> I personally know Harry, and I think he's always wanted to be a father, he's always wanted children. I think this element of splitting from his family right now is a little premature, Burrell said. I think he would want to stay in that driving seat to watch his children grow because if he left this relationship now, he'd lose his children because she'd keep them in America and he wouldn't see them. What do you think about this? I would love to read your opinions in the comments. And as Lady C mentioned Harry's drug problems, there's also this. Prince Harry's visa details stonewalled by Biden administration. Admissions of drug use, as in the Duke of Sussex memoir Spare, are grounds for inadmissibility in visa applications. The Joe Biden administration has been accused of stonewalling a legal bid to uncover details of Prince Harry's U.S. visa application using freedom of information laws. A request to have the application fast-tracked on the grounds of exceptional public interest has been turned down, which has been described as an outrageous decision by the Washington-based think tank pursuing the case. The think tank will now apply for a hearing in front of a judge at the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia, by which it will ask the judge to overrule the three agencies. If it fails, it could take months or even longer for them to make a decision on whether to release the Duke's visa records. I have a hunch that Harry's problems have just begun. My royal rogues, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notified on my upcoming episodes. The two most important words, much love and bliss.